Welcome back, everybody. We have some more fun snack ideas. Today's show is all about snacking. Go ahead, go for it, because we've got a really nice, healthy snack. Uh, Dan and Scott from Platter Talk are here. They've got a great website, lots of wonderful recipes on there. Good to see you guys. Thanks for having us back. You bet. So what are we making? Uh, we've got a delicious and healthy snack salsa, a cool cucumber snack which occasionally, if I'm asked to say that three times in a row, I really mess up. I would so. rather have your snacks with the, uh, the M&Ms in it. Oh, <laughs> this God. is delicious. Uh, well, you so know what, it's healthy. Right you know, I'm a dipper, a, a, you know, double, triple dipper. Oh. Um, give me a dip and it's trouble. So I, I'm always trying to figure out um, some, some dips that are guilt-free, that I can go ahead and feel good about and it. Well, the, this is going to do it for good, you. Good, so good, we're good. going to start out with uh, a couple of medium-sized cucumbers. Okay. These are good just about any time of the year. Okay. And, and these are beautiful, as you can see. Uh, Scott has one all prepared here already. So you don't even need to peel it, just kind no, of rough chop it? I left on, I prefer to have the skins on myself, but we did take the, the seeds out because okay. we didn't want a watery uh, okay. salsa. Okay, got it. All right, so, or use the baby too. So there's Absolutely. A nice spoon okay. around, I could uh, a use a spoon. Absolutely, a spoon. right in here. Yep. Awesome. Have at it, Thank whatever you, you need. Uh-huh. Uh, speaking of the skins, they're the most nutritious part of the cucumber. True. Uh, they're loaded with vitamin K and uh, insoluble fiber, which is so important for good health and wellness. Uh, we like the extra crunch and the color that it also lends. So keep the skins on if the, you, you don't get the preference, right. right. okay. okay. And if, you, well, if you've uh -huh. never seeded a cucumber, it's so easy, Amy. I'm sure you've done this a million times. Um, all you do is dig your spoon in there real gently and uh, create a little trough in the trough of the cucumber and you can see it really comes out nicely. Yeah, easy. And you got a little cucumber boat there. Yes, Love that idea. Love so that. I'm just going to dice this up. Okay. And Scott, you can start working on one of those beautiful Roma tomatoes. Yep. Again, we can get those uh, almost any time of the year around here. We're so fortunate I'm to have good this produce. I'm going to seed that as well. You so need a spoon for that too? I'll here. just use this okay. one. Okay. All right. Question, um, if you're having people over and you want to do this, like for, this would be great for a game mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. um, a ladies, you know, come on over for a, a little snack after work, uh, how much ahead should you make this? Well, that's a great question because it's, it's best if you let it set in the refrigerator for a good hour. Okay. All it's right. always best cool. Although, to be honest with you, we can't always wait for that long when we mm. put this together. But so, this is real fresh. You don't want to do this like no. two days ahead. You want to do it no. in Correct. an hour or two? Correct. Okay. All right. There is going to be a little salt on this, and with all the vegetables, it will liquefy just a little okay. bit. So again, okay. you want to just kind of do it. Okay. Uh, we're doing this as a snack today, but again, can you think about maybe using it with a chicken or a fish or something like oh, yeah. that as well, or even serving it in lieu of a salad? Um, I think would be would be delicious. It almost looks like a um, you know like a, a gazpacho making of the yeah. things that we have in here. Um, and I have to tell you, when people think salsa, they think you know just the kind the traditional red salsa no. that you you know there's salsa just means sauce, and you know there's so many different fun things that you can do with it. So. We've been doing so much with salsa lately on uh, on the blog. We've done a mango, we've done um, peach, peach, and yeah. we've uh, done a corn as well. So again, mm -hmm. let your imagination go wild with salsa. It's what you like. Later we're actually going to make a, a pineapple salsa. So oh, yeah. cucumber, um, tomato. And we got tomato. tomato and I'm going to start throwing in some of the ingredients that we already sure. have prepared. Sure. This is the uh, second tomato. Okay. And Scott, yep. may I have sure. that tomato? Okay. Grazie. So a lot of pretty of color there. What did, you. what did you say? Is it grazie? Wrong, wrong <laughs> accent there, buddy. Don't judge me on the air, <laughs> Scott. Spanish. Really? Okay. So we've got our There's tomato, Thank you. our cucumber, okay. and some uh, fresh uh, red, red bell pepper. Red pepper. Gives it a little sweetness. Pretty, pretty. A little more color. And here we have a medium-sized red in onion all okay. chopped you up. Okay, make a spatula for that. Yes. I'm going to reach in front of you yep. and grab this. Yep, sure. lime, fresh lime. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, this is really starting to shape up. It looks totally, like, guilt-free. You, could you just chop yep. up some fresh parsley for us? You betcha. And parsley and cilantro. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yum. And we have dill as well. Oh, that goes dill very well with, with your cucumber. Absolutely. Dill is mandatory with any oh, fresh cucumber you know uh, what? recipe, I'm thinking. I am with you on that, and I wouldn't have thought about putting it in this salsa, but I'm totally with you. Nice. And actually, if you have a, another um, lime, I'll grade some up because I think that would be good in the salsa as well. Yeah. Are we going to use this? You use zest. How about yeah, the, sure. zest, zest that, Scott. Does that work? And the juicer is right here. Oh. And then, Amy, I'm going to add a couple of cloves of garlic while you two are working on that. You bet. I want to point out that this is hard neck garlic. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. I'm not. It's got a little more zing, a little more bang. 
and um, if you like garlic, I uh, do. This adds uh, yeah, it's really a little spicier. Uh, another element. Do you, you to get it. right at the grocery store? You get it. You can get it at grocery stores, uh, specialty food markets, farmers markets when they're in season. Really, but, uh, but if you don't have it, uh, a normal garlic is just fine. Okay, There's nothing. Sure. Okay. And one thing I've learned about garlic, it can last a long, long time if it's kept in a cool, dry place. So, so not in your fridge. Don't keep it in your correct. fridge. Okay. No, correct. Keep it like down in the basement. Brown yeah. paper bag. Okay. All right. Good to know. So we're adding this garlic. Put some of that in there. And uh, Ooh, that dill Danny, smells. do you have a, a jalapeno or something to add in there? I think sure. that would be good. Right here. Just for a little bit of heat, oh, if, yeah. you, yep. if you want it or not. Yep. Yep. You can totally take this out, leave it out, maybe even use a red uh, pepper, maybe something without. I much like spice. a little jalapeno. Let's bring it on. So we're just going to finish this salsa, and then you like to serve it with some gorgeous. We'll wait for the, uh, the uh, jalapeno. Well, in I'll there. tell you. I'm, again, I'm glad you asked that. We've gotten uh, used to serving our salsa on a chip of fresh produce. Um, again, you can get something like this any time of the year here in Wisconsin because they come from all over. So we. So you don't actually have to use chips. You can no, serve it stay with healthy. a nice vegetable. I love mm. that. I mean, you can certainly serve it with chips, but what right. a great option. Right. For We're people. saving the we guilt almost, for your, we your, your snack mix. Okay. 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 <laughs> How's that pepper, Scott? Good. That and looks beautiful. I'll get you a plate and we can plate this up. Uh, and goes the jalapeno pepper. Right. Oh, you, here you go. Well, we've got a serving bowl yeah. here. Yeah. Guys, what are we making next time? We're uh, doing uh, a... Our next recipe? Yes. Uh, we're doing nice. a check mix. We're going to do a we, we version a with uh, sweet tooth. We're going to do yours thing. Uh, white chocolate and some lemon. Ooh, it's a little different. That sounds so. good. Lots more snacks coming up. Thanks, Platter Guys. Uh, website is? Plattertalk.com. Okay, we'll be back. Thank you. Mm -hmm.